Well, just two days after the death of a Rhode Island man made famous by an iconic photograph, a statue based on the photo is vandalized. George Mendonca of Middletown died on Sunday. He was captured on camera famously kissing a nurse at the end of World War II. A statue in Florida honoring that photo was vandalized overnight. Vandals painted Me Too on the nurse's leg. Iowa News News reporter Steve Nielsen joins us now live in studio with how much police say repairing the statue will cost. Steve? Well, today I spoke with a family friend who defended George's actions that day, the kiss, calling it an iconic moment in American history. Cameras capture the graffiti, hashtag Me Too, spray painted on the statue of the iconic kiss. George Mendonca was photographed on the day the Japanese surrendered, ending World War II, while he kissed Greta Zimmer Friedman in Times Square. George, a Rhode Islander, died in Newport. That photo of him, of course, became synonymous with American victory. On that day, you have to understand, everyone's hugging and kissing everybody, oftentimes strangers, just because everyone's so happy. Lawrence Varia became friends with George, writing a book of the story of the kiss. Recently, some have taken a different perspective of this moment. People, of course, have come out and questioned whether or not this is um, sexual assault. Mm -hmm. um, that's been a charge that's been made. Hence the graffiti. But family friend Gerald O'Donnell spoke to me over the phone about the vandalism of the statue in Sarasota, Florida. Hey, that's some people that are that are you know, trying to get publicity. It's not somebody that that's um, you know uh, morally and, and uh, offended. Here's George in his own words at the state house several years ago. Of course, I saw what those nurses did that day. Now back in Times Square, the war ends. A few drinks. So I grabbed the nurse. This was something very different. This kiss is, is about, you know, we made it through, this war is finally over, and this, is, this moment captures it like none other. Police in Sarasota are investigating, saying it will cost thousands of dollars to fix the statue. Greta Zimmer Friedman in 2005 at an event of the Library of Congress said it was just somebody really celebrating, but it wasn't a romantic event. It was just an event of thank God the war's over kind of thing because it was right in front of the sign. I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.